Hello, welcome to a brief demonstration of SourcePoint debug software for Intel processors. In this demonstration, SourcePoint is connected to a Skylake reference validation platform using an ECM XTP3E debugger. The SourcePoint code window displays target memory as Intel assembly instructions and allows the user to track the current instruction pointer through the highlighted line, also create breakpoints, and even set a temporary breakpoint by setting the cursor and clicking the Go Cursor button. Using the processor control buttons to start, stop, and step the processor, we can step into a call and then run to the next breakpoint outside the call. We can even step over breakpoints. If we want to get back to our original location, we can reset the processor and run back until we hit that breakpoint. The register window allows us to track the general registers of the processor and also other groupings of floating point segment registers including hid hidden segment uh, attribute registers, control registers, debug, multimedia registers. In addition to being able to edit these registers in place, we can also observe float over help on the bit fields of the registers as well as expand those registers and examine the bit fields individually getting float over help for each of those fields and also editing those bit fields in place. Additionally the machine specific registers for the processor that are made public can be displayed and also edited and expanded. The memory window allows the user to examine memory as data in varying widths, formats, and line widths, including displaying ASCII or Unicode. If the memory is writable, the user can edit the uh, memory directly in the window. If it is not writable, any attempted edits will be rejected. The viewpoint window allows the user to change processor thread viewpoint and you will notice that the code and registers window tend to change values. In this case only the BSP is actually ex executing code, so P0 is our main processor of interest. The memory window tends to stay uniform for all CPUs. The breakpoints window allows the user to edit or add uh, breakpoints for the target processor as well as remove or disable them. breakpoint types include the processor breakpoint types for execution, memory access, I.O. access, as well as reset, init, power cycle, and SMM entry and exit. A command script can be attached to each breakpoint that will execute upon breakpoint occurrence. The source point symbols window allows the user to browse through their symbol information for each program loaded, look at each module, browse global procedure function labels and data labels, and even look at data and browse those structures. However, this is a rather difficult way to look at symbols, 
So what SourcePoint has is a Find Symbol dialog that allows the user to type in a name and do a type ahead search. Once we have those, these are the different functions. And we can also browse data symbols. And once we have those, we can copy them to a watch window and expand those symbols. Include addresses and data types. So this is a very convenient way to locate and then browse through uh, structured symbol data. The source point command window serves as an output for source points configuration as well as I.O. for any command scripts that are executing. Individual commands can be entered to display register information or read memory locations. A searchable help index can be found that will describe all of the contents of each of the GUI windows as well as a more in-depth coverage of source point command language, including syntax, which is a C-based syntax, and all individual command syntax.